Hey guys, um, I'm here again to show you two new things. Um, first of all, before I do any tutorial, I always uh, clean up my uh, MCP, so, like, pretty much always, because I test the stuff first. I, I put in jars, what you can do is you can go to... Uh, you can go to minecraft.net. So you can go to download. This will be here even if you don't buy the game. You can still get this. And, uh, you can, and there's download, Minecraft for whatever, and multiplayer, multiplayer server. So you go to multiplayer server and there's going to be, uh, a Minecraft server dot jar. So you're just going to want to download that. I already have it. Um, just drag it to your desktop like this. So it's here. Then you just, so you're just, all right, here. You're going to download the Minecraft server dot jar and you're going to put it on your desktop. Then you're going to open MCP60 and go to jars. And then you just drag this into the bin, in, not to the bin, into the jars folder. So yeah, just drag it into the jars folder. And then you're just going to want to open terminal, terminal, uh, CD. This will be in the, this is in the startup, how to do this, how to do the decompile thing. But even uh, if you already have the bin, the non-server one, uh, decompiled, don't worry about anything, just, just do decompile over again, just, uh, just go to CD. And drag in your MCP60 folder, and then write bash, and then drag in your decompile. Yeah. Right. Hit enter, and it'll decompile. Uh, if you already have like your non-server decompiled, if you already have that decompiled, it'll say, uh. It'll say something and say clean up first, but you don't need to worry about that. It will, it'll uh, just keep that decompiled and it'll decompile the the uh, Minecraft server dot jar. So with this, you can now that I'm decompiling this, you can actually uh, edit your Minecraft server. I think some of you might want to do that. So, just, it's going to be decomp it's decompiling right now. So just let that go, do its thing. All right, it's almost done. Okay. No, is it quite done? Is it done yet? No, it's almost done. Should be done soon, just let it go. Wait a second. <sighs> so yeah. Bloody bloody blah. All this stuff. Oh yeah, if you guys don't have Eclipse or anything, and for whatever reason you don't want to get it, you can just go to SRC, Minecraft, Net, Minecraft, SRC, and then you'll have all the stuff. It's just I highly don't recommend this, because you have to be like a pro to work with this. I, I can't do it. I know I can't. So just don't. Just don't do that. Don't just. But see, 
Now that this is pretty much done, cleaning uh, Alright, it's, I believe it's done. Wait, is it done? Oh my god. Ugh. Um, it's almost done. Come on. You're almost done. Oh my god. But since now it decompiled, if you go into your SRC, it already decompiled, you'll have Minecraft and Minecraft server. Minecraft server is the server thing. Is just is this the same thing just for your server? Which is pretty cool. Uh which is, I I think that's kinda cool. Cause I might wanna do that. Anyways. Um Ugh Come on. Sorry about this. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I know. All right, it's done. Now, if you go to your MCP, left side man. Uh, now if you go to your Eclipse, Eclipse, do do do. Ugh, come on. And then, uh, when you enter this. Uh, you'll have client and server. You can go to server, SRC, Minecraft, net.minecraft.src, and here's all your stuff. So that's that. Now, you know how when you enter this, uh, Know how you enter when you enter the the Minecraft thing? It has that one server. This has is something cool. Is now that you have your here's your server can't reach it. But what we could do is we can. Get out of clips. You can put bash, and then if you look in here, there'll be something called start server dot sh. Drag that in and hit enter. And what this will do is it'll start that server. So now if I go to Eclipse, so it's starting that server that we saw in saw in the Minecraft thing. So it's starting that, and if I go in there, it'll have it. So, yeah. It has a, a Minecraft in there. Oh, yeah, and if you don't have Eclipse, uh, if you don't have Eclipse and you don't have the screen button, what you can do instead of pushing that is you can just go to terminal and then you can just go CD drag in your MCP 60 folder and then drag then hit enter put uh you know I'll just show you at the end of this video right anyways let's go to Eclipse see now we do this start this up uh, Ugh. God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, now if you go to your multiplayer, here it is. And you can log in. you do that um now I was gonna show you uh what is now see the screen button if you don't have Eclipse and you don't have that green button here's what you can do to start up that uh thing 
you can okay I'm just gonna get a new terminal close all right so here's terminal so you go CD space drag in your mpc60 folder hit enter and then you go bash space start client sh just drag that in there and this is the equivalent as pushing that green button so instead of having to do this you could just push that green button and that is one of the great reasons of why I love Eclipse. Oh yeah. See? Yeah. That's why I love Eclipse. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.